Hello YouTube, this is the fourth video in our JavaScript Basics tutorial series. In this video I'll be going over the developer console that we'll be using in Google Chrome, um, as well as JavaScript con comments. So the developer console has a series of functionalities. Um, many of them include working with the HTML and JavaScript part of the page. Um, so it has three main tabs that we're going to be using. Um, the first is the elements tab. This allows us to select elements or view, I guess, view the live code on the page. You can view the code at the beginning of the page, but this will never be updated with the JavaScript. When JavaScript changes the HTML um, values of your document, so um, when we make HTML changes, we'll be looking here for it, as well as using this for CSS and JavaScript stuff. Um, here is the script panel, I guess the console people call it, but um, but this really this whole thing is the console. This is where errors are outputted and where you can output information about your uh, document as well as anything you want really using console functions. Um, you can undock the console from the window, dock it. You can search for an element within the page um, by like selecting it once we don't have any elements right now, but this clears the log. Um, this will display only errors. This will display only warnings. This will display only logs. And here's the settings. We're not going to mess with that, really. Here's resources. These are the resources that the page uses. Um, I'm not actually using any at all right now, so I'm not going to have anything here. And then... Here we have the network, which is just the files that have been fetched and how they've been fetched. And then here is the JavaScript files. And these are like the .js files, which we won't be using in this series, but just so you know, it's there. Um, so let me show you how to use this part of the console for JavaScript debugging. We will, let's see open up our document and I'm gonna purposely get an error so in the first tutorial I or second tutorial I explained that you couldn't have a number at the beginning of your variable name so we're gonna get an error here hopefully unexpected token um, it tells you where in the document and you can click on that link and it'll take you to the line um, but as far as specific um, as far as specific errors, you're going to have to just kind of get used to that and use them and like learn as you go kind of because there are too many of them for me to go over in one tutorial. Um, but it's really helpful when you know you have an error and don't know what it is and don't know where. You can also use Google search to kind of determine what the error means by searching for it. And there's good documentation and errors all over the place. So um, that's about it as far as errors. Now we can purposely do this. We can like output into that console by using the console object, which has a log method and a one parameter that has a value of whatever you want it to be, a string. Um, or actually it can be an array or an object or a number, anything. Um, basically you can log out a variable. Anything that a variable can store you can log out. We're going to log out. This is a console log. And you can do that to... Oh, I didn't click on that. There we go. 
So as long as all is selected, it'll show Eric Williams and Lot. And I can do that again. And I can also throw a custom error. There's one other method, but it's not really used. It's not going to have any information about it. It'll just tell you where it's logged. Um, yeah. That's about it as far as the console. I was just kind of showing you. It's an alternative to using alerts to debug. Um, it is really helpful when you're when you are debugging now. Okay, so let me show you um, comments. So if I if I make three alert functions, and the first one alerts, okay, so we if we do that, okay, let's actually use console log. Okay. Um, got extra parentheses in here somehow. Okay. So as you can see, I have all of these have executed correctly. Um, now I'm going to comment out one of these lines. Basically, a comment. Um, renders the code unreadable to the to JavaScript. So comments are used in almost all pro programming languages. They allow you to add notes and stuff like that. This is a comment. Um, it's like kind of like in, in case, um, like surrounding something by quotes, but instead of quotes, you're using a forward slash asterisk forward slash or asterisk forward slash and um, you can do this with as many lines as you want and this code will not execute anything inside of these will not be read as JavaScript code it will just appear in the source see and it only executed the ones that were outside of the comment now I can Put that there, and we'll only get that one that's outside the comment. So another way of doing this, which is a more limited way, but you can do two forward slashes at the be at some point in your line, and it will comment out the rest of the line. So you can leave notes that way. But these are only this only goes for one line, so it'll it. You don't have to write anything at the end of it to like tell JavaScript that you're ending your comment, but it will automatically close the comment. So that's about all I got for this tutorial. In the next one, we'll be working with operators and kind of math stuff and um, combining variables. So that should be fun. Um, that's about it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.